Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be going after Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago, the two new Reggies introduced to the Crown Tundra. So friends, I want to just say before we get into this last guide with Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago, just to make you aware before we get into it here, that once you do pick either Reggie Alecki or Reggie Drago uh, from your game, you are locking out the other Reggie, so you're only able to get either either one of the other uh, in the game you get the choice between the two in the temple but you do only get to pick one of them and if the other one is then locked out and you're not able to obtain it in this current game right now now for a reggie gigas i believe it is available in dynamax adventures so that's how you get the final reggie to complete your set and then you're just going to be missing one of reggie drago or reggie lecky hopefully a lot of you have two cards if not it is very unfortunate. I don't like that they're doing this, but just to make you aware of it before we get into the guide today. So we're going to be showing you the location and figuring all the things we need to do to get into the temple and get these Pokemon in this guide. So as always, we're starting at Freezington in front of Peony's house. The first thing to do is obviously just check out that legendary clue too that we've got. Uh, we've, we've already like sussed out the reggie rock reggie ice and reggie steel we've got the previous episodes of those if you want to go back and check those out i'll link them in the top right hand corner and show you how to get to the temple and how to get into those temples now the legendary giants is uh obviously the last one four or four on the distant paths of the three point pass lies a temple where two giants sleep on the temple's door are the strange words well we'll find out when we get there that the door remains firmly shut okay so we've got a little way to go in this one. If we check our town map, we'll be able to see where the three point pass is. And I believe it is over here. So this is the three point pass. I'm guessing this is a temple here. And the way for us, I'm, I'm kind of guessing the way for us to get it, to get to this three point pass is through this cave here. And um, we'll need to go through uh, the Roaring Sea Caves. And that hopefully will bring us out here where it will take us to the three point pass. So I'm going to go all the way down to this area now we'll hop on our bike as always as i say we're starting at peony's hut in freezington and we'll make our way out onto frost point path which is here we want to be making our way to the giant's foot i believe um so we need to be in the giant's path first this is where we're going to be going through right now uh sorry giant's bed is the where we're going through right now and then we need to be making our way to the giant's foot i believe and uh, that will take us to th to a cave system where the three point path is now i think you want to be staying uh to the right but don't go up any paths or anything like that you want to come past the old cemetery and then i think you want to keep right here and this should take you and lead you round down onto the giant's foot uh, which should be around here, maybe. I think you may need to take this turning here, which, yeah. So this brings you onto Giant's Foot. You don't want to carry on to Giant's bed or path, whichever one it is. But this is the most crazy string of Pokemon appearing in the wild um, ever in that wild area. And, yeah, this will bring you... So Giant's Foot will bring you to this cave system here. And you, we're going to have to go into the cave system. So hopefully we can dodge all these spawning pokemon i can't believe how how the spawns are they're so active in crown tundra compared to like what we've had before and then yeah there's a little entrance here and we know from looking at the map that this is going to take us out onto like a beached area where we'll be able to, to kind of go um down to the three point path is where we need to be going so hopefully this is the right way i haven't actually been through this cave system before so it looks like you're going to have to just figure it out as we're going along. We can make our way down here. Maybe this will be the way out. And it looks like it is. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um, fridge C. So we're just going to check on the map where we are now. We're in the perfect place. So what we need to do is swim back inland. And then we need to come down to the three-point path, which is here. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do that um, from this location. But it looks like there is... Maybe a path up here that we can take. Uh, no, that's back to the cave system. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Maybe we can swim around. We'll soon find out. So we'll get into the water. And I think it's down this sort of area. 
So we'll take this route here. This might be where we need to go and uh, see this bear tick and worry and all these Pokemon. Three point pass. So we are here and um, here is the temple. Brilliant. Okay. Right, well, here's the temple. Two sides to the temple, which is very interesting. Uh, it's a cool temple. And we've got two new Regis available. There are T TRs here. So Thunder, linking back to Regieleki. And then we're going to have Outrage for Reggie Drago as well. I wonder if we're going to get the choice or we're going to be able to get both of these, these Regis. What's the clue? Hmm, there is something written on the door. A giant of rock. A giant of ice, a giant of steel. When gather the three giants, the door of destiny shall be opened. Well, we've got all in our party. So if you've caught the previous Regis uh, up to this point, have them in your party and the door should open. So we just happen to have them there already in our party, which is quite coincidental. Uh, as you can see, Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel. That's all you need. This is the kind of thing that you, can, you normally need for Reggie Gigas. So we'll enter the temple. I really don't want to choose which one I go for because I love both of the new Regis. Honestly, I think they're both amazing. I really want both. I hope they're not just locked to getting one per game. So we'll get all the lights lit and we'll soon find out. And guys, I'm experiencing this for the first time like you will be potentially if you're watching this guide. So it's quite exciting. It's a huge Pokemon statue is looking down at you. Okay, well, we've, we've lit all the lights. Have we lit all of them though? Is there a, is there another one that we need to light? Because I don't know what. Okay, so I figured it out what we need to do, okay? Right, so this one is going to give us Reggie Alecki, all right? So what you need to do if you want Reggie Alecki, when you're here, what you need to do is hit all three of these outside ones. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then just hit the center one, I think. One, two. Oh, no. That's it, yeah. I think just the center one, yeah. So that is the combination for Reggie Alecki, okay? Okay, there we go. Um, Amazing. Right, this is the, 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 the Reggie Drago. This is the dragon pattern right here. So you guys can see this. You've got two, a gap, then one, and then the two prongs on each side are lit. And then the Regieleki we just did as well. So if I was going to choose one right now, and I don't know if we can have both or not, I'm going to go for Reggie Drago because I just think it's such a cool, cool Pokemon. The opportunity to catch one of these Pokemon. I hope we can catch both of them. It would be really great if we can. If we can't, it's it's super sad. It's super unfortunate. And you're going to need to actually have two copies of the game to get both variants. Which I think is not great. If it was up to me, I'd obviously have both available. Um, let's go for a heavy slam. Let's see. Dragon Claw coming out from Reggie Drago. Reggie Steel should be in good shape for us to, uh, to deal with this one. Honestly, I think Rhyperia is a bit too strong. Uh, to actually take it on. Wow, it's uh, it's quite fat. Okay, let's see what our Flash Cannon does. Uh, another Dragon Claw. Obviously, it's got the ability to boost Dragon-type moves, so it's doing some f f hefty damage to us, you know. Um, it's a strong Pokemon, and it's pretty defensive as well, you know. Like, Registeel's not the most offensive typing, but still... Wow, and Hammer Arm. Okay, I feel like these new Regis are going to be very difficult to actually take down and deal with uh, it's uh, where you wish you had those spare master balls honestly uh we'll see what we can do we should be faster now after that hammer on we'll get another flash cannon off you should put it down into the red yeah and uh, we should be able to uh, we're going to get knocked out here but we'll be in a good position to start chucking pokeballs or dive balls at it and hopefully once we get reggie drago we're going to be able to get reggie alecki as well i mean I just love its design in general. I think Reg the both the new Regis have got amazing designs. And I'm hoping there's somewhere where we can get Reggie Gigas. And then we can combine all the Regis together to create some monster Reggie that we've never seen before. Okay. It's probably going to take me a little while to catch this with a dive ball. So we'll be right back when I do, my friends. We finally got it. We finally got it. Wow, that took forever to get in a dive ball. I've been here for such a long time trying to get this Reggie Drago. So 
We do get it eventually, which is amazing. I'm super happy about it. We get Reggie Drago's data will be added to the Pogodex as academic theory proposes that Reggie Drago's arms were once the head of an ancient dragon Pokemon. The theory remains, remains unproven. Okay, well, maybe we get some more information on that as we play through the Crown Tundra, but we have to add Reggie Drago to the party. And that's all the Reggies, nearly. Um, okay, jot down your status. It looks like it's been done, but can we, can we do the electric one? Oh, we can't. Oh, that is so sad. So you actually only are able to get one of the Reggies. So make sure before you do it, friends, you pick the choice wisely because you're only going to be able to get one Reggie Alecki or Reggie Drago from this temple right now through this quest. So that's a little bit sad, but hopefully you found this guide useful to get to the temple, to get to Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki and whichever one you did decide to get. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section below which one you did go for in the end. And uh, please drop a like on the video if you found it useful. Do subscribe to the channel or think about it if you have found this guide useful. Useful and you want to get, catch more Pokemon content like this, we cover lots of things and we've got lots more stuff to cover on the Crown Tundra coming up in the coming weeks. So thank you so much for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.